When you come into your kingdom, remember me, O Holy One. When you come into your kingdom, Let's all pray together, our oh Father who art in heaven. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us all see souls. نفس عبده جورج فانوس في فردوس النار 
الداعيم ويغفر لنا خطايانا وردعم Let's continue to love the man can grant the complete holiday and all the days of life and all pieces your fear all and the temptation of the work of Satan, the counsel of the wicked men and rising out the enemies who they manifest take them away from us and from all your people from this holy church from this holy place but that sing shall good and prophet will do provide for us which you have given us the third region serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemies <laughs> Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blow out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in your past, in hidden part, you make me to know wisdom. Purse is his and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to enjoy and grant the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and rule a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a generous spirit. Then I'll teach transgressors your ways and sins shall be converted to you. Deliver me from blockness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, so also I give it. You do not delight in burnt offerings. Sacrifice of God, a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, did not despise. Do good in a good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem, then you shall be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. Behold, you are there. 
If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall you, uh, your hand lead me and uh, your right hand shall hold me. Like a lost sheep, seek your servant, for I don't forget uh, your commandments. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but earth has, she, uh, has he given to the children of men. The dead praise uh, not the Lord, no, neither any that go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from uh, his, uh, this time, from forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. صوت تدرعي لأنه أمال بسمعه إلي وفي أيامي دعوته لأنه جاع الموت اكتنافتني وشدائد الهاوية صبتني نالني ضيق وحزن فدعوت اسم الرب يا رب نج نفسي الرب هو رحيم وبار وإلهنا يرحم حافظ الأطفال الصغار والرب تواضعت فخلصني ارجع يا نفسي إلى موضع راحتك لأن الرب قد أحسن إلي خلص نفسي من الموت وعيني من الدموع رجلي من الزلل أرضي الرب أمامه في كرة الأحياء Christos nem bekyotin aga Thos nem bim nem maithoam Ji akash kak sotir mon aina First epistle of our teacher Paul, the apostle of the Corinthians. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which is I preached to you, which also you received, and in which you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believe in vain. 
for I delivered to you first of all that which I also received that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture and he has he was buried <coughs> and that he rose again in the third day according to the scriptures and in that he was seen by Cephas and then by the twelve and after that he was seen by over 500 brethren at once of whom the great part will remain in the present but some have fallen asleep after that he was seen by James then by all the apostles then last of all he was seen by me also as by one born out of due time for I am the least of the apostles who am I who am not worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God but by the grace of God I am what I am and his grace towards me was not in vain but I labored more abundantly than they all yet not I but the grace of God which was with me therefore whether it was I or they or we preached and so we you believed now in Christ is preached that he has been raised from the dead how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead but if there is no resurrection of the dead then Christ has not ri risen and if Christ is not risen then our preaching is empty and your faith is also empty yes and we are found false witness of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ whom he did not raise up if in fact the dead do not raise for if the dead do not raise then Christ is not risen and if Christ is not risen your faith is futile you are still in your sin then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished if any if in this life only we have hope in Christ we are of all men the most pitiful but now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruit of those who has fallen asleep for since by man came death by man also came the resurrection of the dead for as in Adam all died even so in Christ all shall be made alive but each one his own order may the grace of God the Father be with you all Amen Oh. Uh -huh.
who said to his saints and disciples and pure apostles, many prophets are righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and see the things which you hear and have not heard them. But blessed are you as for they see and ears for the hear may be worthy to hear and act and control the Holy Gospel through the prayers of you who are saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Just remember them in our prayers and supplications we offer to you, Lord, our uh, God. Those already fallen asleep, repose them. And those who are sick, O oh Lord, heal them. You are the life of a soul, the salvation of a soul, the hope of a soul, the healing of a soul, and the resurrection of a, a soul.
Teacher David the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. 
Bless these whom you chose and bring near to you, dwell in your courts. Answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation, who are the hope of all the ends of the earth. Alleluia. O Lord, have pity and mercy on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel. A reading according to St. John the Evangelist, Prophet and King, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do, for whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son gives life to whom he will. For the Father judges no one, but has committed all judgment to the Son, that all should honor the Son just as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Most assuredly I say to you who hears my word, and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death into life most assuredly i say to you the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the son of god and those who will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man, do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in grace will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Oh. To God forever. Never
Trinity, one essence, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, this very soul for whom we have gathered today, O Lord, repose him in the kingdom of heaven. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of heaven, and receive him unto you according to your great mercy. Open unto him, O Lord, the gate of righteousness, so he may sh enter therein and rejoice there. Open unto him, O Lord, the gate of paradise, as you have opened it unto the thief. Open unto him, O Lord, the gate of kingdom. Maybe he partaker with the old sins. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of rest, that he may sing with all the angels. May he be worthy to see the joy. Let the angel of the light lead him into the life. May he repose in the bosom of our holy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel. Forgive him his sins, which he has com aforetime committed both knowingly and unknowingly. For you, O Lord, for you, O Lord, know the feebleness and the weaknesses of humanity. And in your mercy, O Lord, give consolation to all whom he has left behind and to his household, and give unto them patient and a good heavenly reward. Through the intercession of Our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy See, Tokos, and Mary, the Mother of God, and all the whole choir of heaven, let both your mercy and your help be with your people. Grant our schoolness, establish us in your orthodox face, be protector unto us, we the faithful, worship your Christ with your good Father, and the Holy Spirit, for you were crucified and saved us. It's the void and the onagin oce vole, go em mojegas marot, o bancho insiso, ye avashka, so te em mojil. Ebi bronsifki instansite, Let us ask God the Pantocrator. The Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who has contrived your godless lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the peace of the one holy, universal, and apostolic, our so church. Pray for the peace of the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic, Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. السلام <laughs> آتنا سلامك لأن كل شيء آتيتنا اقتنينا لك يا الله وخلصنا لأننا لا نعرف آخر سواك اسمك القدوس والذي نقوله فلتحيا نفوسنا بروحك القدوس ولا يقوى علينا نحن عبيدك موت الخطية ولا على كل شعب يا رب الله 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 
Remember, O Lord, our High Priest, His Holiness, our Patriarch, Pope Tawad Rose II. Pray for our Archbishop Baba Abba Tawad Rose II, Baba and Archbishop Archbishop of the Great City Alexandria, and his partner, Bishop Daniel, and all for our Bishop. For the فاحفظه لنا سنين طويلة وازمنا سلامية هادئة مديدة مفصلا كلمة الحق باستقامة راعيا شعبك بطهارة وبر وجميع الأصفة والقمامسة والقسوس الأرثوذكسيين والشمامسة وكل امتلاء كنيستك الواحد الوحيد المقدس الجامع الرسولية انعم عليهم بالسلام والعافية في كل موضع وصلواتهم التي يقدمونها عنا وصلواتنا نحن أيضا التي نقدمها عنهم اقبلها إليك يا رب على مذبحك المقدس الناطق السمائي رائحة بخور تدخل يا رب إلى عظمتك التي في السماوات بواسطة خدمة ملائكتك ورأساء ملائك الأطهار وكما ذكروا اسمك العظيم القدوس اذكرهم أيضا في ملكوتك بعد الدهر لا يتركهم عنك يا رب Let us ask God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask and treat you, Godness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, our congregation and assemblies. Bless them. Pray for this holy church and for our assemblies. Lord, have mercy. أعطي يا رب لاجتماعاتنا أن تكون بغير مانع ولا عائق نسعى كمشيتك المقدسة التوبوية بيوت صلاة بيوت طهارة بيوت بركة إنعم بها يا رب علينا وعلى بيدك الأتين من بعدنا إلى الأبد عبادة الأوسام بكمالها أقلحها من العالم الشيطان وكل قوات الشرير أسحق ومادلهم تحت أقدامنا سريعا الشكوك فاعليها ابطلهم ولينقض افتراق فساد البدع عدا كنيستك المقدسة مثل كل دمان والآن أيضا أزلهم حل تعزمهم عرفهم ضعفهم سريعا يا رب ابتل حسدهم وجنونهم شرهم نميمتهم التي يصنعون فينا يا رب اجعلهم كلهم كلا شيء وحمق مشورتهم يا الله الذي ابطل مشورة أخي توفل أمين يا رب أرحمكم أيها الرب الإله ليتبدد كل أعداك وليهرب من قدامك كل مبدي اسمك القدوس أما شعبك يا رب فليكن بالبركة ألوف ألوف ربوات ربوات يصنعون إرادتك المقدسة يا رب أرحمك 
son feia se bronz homen kiria leison kiria leison genom es mi amin bil haqiqat nomen belan wahed Allah ilah rabbit el kul gharq el sama wal ar ma ira ma la ira nomen berabben wahed yasua al masih ibn Allah al wahid al mawlud min el ab qabla kul el duhur nur min nur ila haq min ila haq مولود غير مخلوق مساو لله في جوار الذي به كان كل شيء هذا الذي من أجلنا نحن البشر ومن أجل خلاصنا نزل من السماء لجسد من الروح القدس ومن مريم العذراء كأن ساصل بعنا على عاد بلاص البنتي تألم وقبرة قام بين الأموات في اليوم الثالث كما في الكتب وصعد إلى السماوات وجلس عن يمين أبيه وأيضا يأتي في مجده ليدين الأحياء والأموات الذي ليس من قيا قضاء نعم نؤمن بالروح القدس الرب محمد بس ملاب نسجد له ونمجده مع الاب والابن الناط في الانبياء كنيسه واحد مقدسه جامع رسوليه ونعترف مع مديه واحد الى مغفره خطاه فضل سيدنا ننتظر قيامات الاموات وحياتي الدار التي أمي شليل أبي بروسف كيس تاسيت صغير نباسي كتبنا ومادي نسأل الله ضغط الكل أبا ربنا وإلهنا مخلصنا اسمع المسيح نسأل الله من صلاحك يا محب البشر واذكر يا رب أنفس عبيدك الذين رقدوا أبائنا وأخواتنا لبوعنا أبائنا وأخواتنا الذين رقدوا وتنيحوا في الإيمان بالمسيح منذ البد أبائنا القديسين رؤساء الأساقفة وأبان الأساقفة أبان القمامصة وأبان الشمامسة وأبان الرهمانيين وأبان العلمانيين ومعهم نياح نفس عبده المرحوم جورج فانوس في فردوس النعيم وعن نياح كل المسيحيين اللي كان مسيح إلينا ينيح نفوس مجمعين في فردوس النعيم ونحن أيضا يصنع معنا رحمة ويغفر لنا خطايانا الحقيقية غير الكاذبة هب لهم خيرات مواعيدك ما لم ترى عين وما لم تسمع به أذن وما لم يخطر على قلب بشر ما أعددت يا الله لمحب اسمك القدوس 
لأنه لا يكون موت لعبيدك بل هو انتقال وإن كان قد لحقهم توان أو تفريط كبشر وقد لبسوا جسدا وسكنوا في هذا العالم فأنت كصالح ومحب البشر تفضل يا رب عبيدك المسيحيين الأرسكسين في المسكونة كلها من مشارق الشمس إلى مغاربها من الشمال إلى الجانب كل واحد واحد باسمه وكل واحد واحد باسمه تفضل يا رب نيحو أم واغفر لهم لأنه ليس أحد بلا دنس لو كانت حياته يوما واحدا على الأرض ما هم يا رب الذين أخذت نفوسهم نيح ورسحق ملكوت السماوات أما نحن يا رب هب لنا كما لنا المسيح كما أرضيك أمامك وأعطيهم وإيانا نصيبا وميراثا مع كافة قديسي يا رب Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil through Jesus Christ our Lord for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen ماذا ينتفع الإنسان لو ربح العالم كله وخسر نفسه نحن في هذا العالم غرباء ضيوف و نقول في صلاة قطع صلاة النوم هو ذا أنا عتيد أن أقف أمام الديان العادل مرعوبا ومرتعبا من أجل كثرة ذنوبي لذلك نحن سنقدم حسابا كل واحد يعطي حسابا على كل ما هو كان في حياته ولذلك نحن نرد أن نسمع صوت الإله العظيم وهو يقول لنا تعالوا إلي يا مبارك أبي رثوا الملك المعد لكم ذلك إذا كان الحساب يتفق مع الوصية التي أعطانا الله إياها أما عن الأشرار يقول لهم اذهبوا عني ويذهبون هناك إلى الجحيم النار التي لا تطفأ والدود الذي لا يموت يسيرون في صحبة الشياطين التين أضلوهم في الأرض وأزلوهم نحن في هذا اليوم نودع حبيبنا جورج الذي خدم كنيسة الأنبا إبرام أكثر من ثلاثين عاما 
وأذكر في مرة من المرات كان سيدنا الأنبا دانيال طلب من جورج إنه يقدم بعض حسابات وأوراق الكنيسة للتاكس أوفيس وكان هذا الوقت هو وقت زحام جدا عنده في في العمل لكنه بكل ترحاب قال له حاضر يا سيدنا فضل عمل الكنيسه عن عمله الخاص وهذا هذا هو مشاعر الابن البار لابوه السماوي وكنيسته العروس هو العريس والكنيسه العروس وشعبها عاش لله وقد ذهب هناك ليتمتع بصحبه الاباء الرسل والشهداء والمعترفين وكل القديسين صار هناك مع الانبا بولا والانبا والانبا ابراهام وكل القديسين الذين نسمي الكنائس باسمائهم فنحن نتعزى لانه ذهب هناك الى موضع الراحه فتره المرض كانت فتره صعبه وفي يوم من الايام نيافه الانبا دانيال كان خارج سيدني وعمل لي تليفون قال لي لازم تروح لجورج دلوقتي وتصلي صلاه وصليت الصلاه التي طلب مني ان اصليها تنتهي للتحليل الذي يهيئ الانسان ليكون طاهرا من كل خطيه نشكر سيدنا على محبته وحضوره ونشكر كل الحاضرين نيابه عن الاسره و I wish we could hear uh, some of the uh, hear uh, Peter and uh, Thomas and Christine and the Amgad of I'm very humbled and I feel not worthy to stand here among the, His Grace and the Fathers and the rest of the congregation to say a few words about Uncle George, a man of a great caliber. But if you have come to serve with Uncle George on a weekly basis, you would know that Uncle George, when he turns around to everyone, to the committee members and the Reverend Fathers and goes, Fathers, we need to have a meeting. I have something important to say. You would know two things. Either you're in big trouble, or you would know that he has a serious matter to discuss with us. In the meeting, when he turns around and goes to us, we have been audited. The church accounts have been audited by the ATO. We hold our breath, and we hope for the best. But in a second, his face smiles, and the amazing, beautiful smile goes, congrats, to all the servants, the fathers with their prayers, we have passed with flying colors. Every audit, we have been passing with flying colors. I guess he's saying that with the full humbleness that he never took credit for himself, but always he gave credit to the committee, to the fathers, to the servants, and he always used to say, it's because of your prayers. Uncle George, if you serve with him for 30 years, we learn from the fathers, not only the integrity and the honesty in his service, we learn two things. We learned that he has fought the good fight, he has finished the race, kept the faith. 
And in those three, we learned that to serve and to approach the church and the fathers and say, I want to serve, is one level. To continue for 30 years in the same service, with the same passion and the same enthusiasm, with the same honesty, is another level. To serve with the challenges that come with every service and the temptations, as it says in the wisdom of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1, my son, if you set your heart or if you, set, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation and prepare your soul for temptation. Uncle George taught us that to serve is one level, to continue in the service, and to also face the challenges and never abandon the post of service in the church. For whatever challenges comes, it's a different level. We learned a lot from Uncle George. As a committee member, as a member of the church, and we say to you, Uncle George, today we come together and say congrats. You have passed with flying colors. You have fought the good fight. You have uh, finished the race. You have kept the faith. You are worthy of saying, now the crown of righteousness on my head. Not only that, but the crown of enduring pain. Our condolences goes to Tan Suzanne, to Christine, Peter, Thomas, Tata Aziz, and the extended family, Farid, and all the rest of the family, on behalf of the committee uh, and the church services and the Reverend Fathers and the rest of the congregation, our condolences goes to you. And I need to tell you one thing. Uncle George's legacy will continue, not only on the personal level of the family in you and his grandchildren, but it will continue with us. And we pray with the prayer of his grace and the Fathers that the honesty, the integrity, the continuity, and the challenging and standing firm in the service, not to run away, will continue with us as well. Uh, pray for us, Uncle George, and may the Lord repose your soul And until we meet again in paradise. Not only did you give me wisdom and encouragement, but you're my inspiration and role model. I love you, Geddo. You're the world to me. Thank you, Geddo, for showing me how to live with God. Thank you for showing me what walking in humility and lo is love, and love is all about. I know you've passed away, Geddo, but you've always been my heart. You're, you're not only an inspiration to me, but to so many of you as well. So today, I'm sure Geddo will want you not to leave him mourning, but re rejoicing in his life. My favourite memories of Geddo include going on holidays with him and teaching me how to play chess, as well as playing my silly games just to humour me. My favourite day of the week was Saturday because we got to Tetsu in Geddo's house, eat Tetsu's yummy food and get my weekly present from Geddo, which was always a $50 bill. <laughs> you are strict but had a heart of gold. You are my angel in heaven looking over me now. May God bless you. I love you, Geddo. And on behalf of myself, Joshua, Luke, Amelia, Isaac and baby Celine would like this opportunity to thank you for being the best schedule and for all the love you have shown us. We will never forget you get the love Christian. the head of your family and the foundation behind the man I am today from the very start and as long as I can remember you taught me to fear God in everything I do to never give up and to always strive for excellence a man that didn't need to say a single word yet just look at me and I knew if I was out of line. A man full of pride, dignity, compassion, love and authority 
who didn't ask for respect, yet demanded it. You never done anything in your life half-hearted, Dad. Whether that was with your office and business affairs, serving God and this very church we are in today, or anything life threw your way, it was all or nothing, your absolute best or nothing at all. Even though you worked so hard in life and God blessed you and rewarded you with everything in life, you were a humble man that never flaunted or boasted, yet on the contrary, were a simple man in your own right. Anywhere you went, whether a family function, church, or just in your own home, I recall the way people would greet you and address you. You were so loved and respected by everyone. This is because you loved and respected everyone. No matter what title or status they have or hold, what they have, old or young, you are the true meaning of the word gentleman, a real man's man. Thank you for everything you have done for me, everything you taught me, and for being the greatest father. <laughs> Any son could have wished for. I wish God prolonged your life so that my daughter Celine could remember what a wonderful and loving Geddu she had. I pray God guides me and shows me the way so that I can inherit and be that faultless father you were to me, to my daughter. Your legacy will live on forever, my king. You are now at peace with our Lord, God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, our King of Kings. Rest in peace, Dad. I love you, Yagali. George Fanos, my beloved father. I find myself up here struggling to find the words to encapsulate the true essence of who you were. The past week feels surreal, and at times I forget that you're no longer with us. I wasn't ready to lose you, my dear father. You were sick for the past five years, and logic says that you leaving us can be explained away. But I wasn't ready, dad. I don't think I ever will be. But I hope these words and how I live out the rest of my days as a husband, father, and hopefully one day grandfather embody every single quality you instilled in me. You were a towering figure in our life, but not in a domineering way. You were steadfast, reliable, and as Father Paul articulated last week, bursting at the seams with integrity. It is these core values that make you my compass. You taught me everything I know, and the man I am today is because of you. My love of God, family, church, and a relentless drive to work hard and provide for my loved ones is instilled in me thanks to your shining example. You sacrificed greatly to give us an amazing life. I still remember most Saturdays with you in your Dumeric Street office as I was growing up and witnessing the lines and lines of clients waiting to see you. At the end of the day, you would give me $20 for just making you cups of Nescafe Blend 43 coffee. Sundays after church was always spent in the church office with you, counting money and paying the church bills. I was so proud of you, Dad. It's these very early days where you instilled in me the fundamentals of hard work, discipline, integrity, and, un and an unwavering commitment to serving God. I also distinctly remember you coming home every night at 7 p.m. on the dot, honking the Volvo horn for Chrissy, Thomas and I to race to the garage to be the first to open up the roller door for you. Your hugs and smile when you got out of the car will stay with me forever. To me, you were and always will be the biggest, smartest, hardest working father in the world. All you needed was a cape, Dad. You were my hero. My view of you hasn't shifted an inch, my dear father. You will be forever my hero and the most important man in my life.
I thank God Amelia and Isaac spent their formative years knowing and loving their giddu. They love you so much, Dad, and will always remember the chess games, your generosity of spirit, and your warmth and love. Your final days broke my heart, and I promise that those painful memories do not mar the real memory of you. You were the beating heart of this family. A piece of us has gone with you, Dad, but your legacy lives on forever, with your family, friends, and of course, with the church. Our children will always love you. And we promise to live our days honoring you and everything you did for us. I know God has a very special place for you with him in heaven. You have served God your entire adult life, over 31 years, right up until you were no longer physically able. And you will now rest in eternal peace with joy with our Heavenly Father. Thank you, my beautiful and beloved Father, for the life you have given us, for the example you have set for us, and most importantly, the endless and unconditional love you gave us. I love you, Dad, more than I ever can explain. I will always love you. Today we are honouring, celebrating and remem remembering my inspirational father, Mr George Fennels. My father was a man of faith, honour, pride, determination and integrity. A man who entered the room and had a dignified presence about him. He was admired and respected by all, but more importantly, he was the role model my brothers and I look up to. I'd like to share a little letter I read to my father in his last few days before entering eternal life. Dear Dad, where do I begin? There are no words to describe how I'm feeling right now. My past 39 years on this earth have been so memorable because of you. From my first day of kindergarten to my first day of high school to graduating university, my whole purpose and mission in life was to make you proud. I remember my wedding day vividly as you sat next to me in the wedding car and gave me words of wisdom. You then placed my hands in Andrew's hands and gave me a big hug and kiss. My life as your little girl was about to change, but my mission and purpose was the same, to always make you proud. Dad, I love you so very much and I thank you for everything you have taught me. You've taught me to love my family, work hard, show commitment and to never give up. You are a strong, determined, proud, hardworking Christian with devoted faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. God is always your number one. Even in your last few weeks, you were committed to honouring your responsibility as church treasurer, paying bills as you ached in pain. You are a man of few words. However, when you speak, everyone listens. I admire all, the, all your hard work and all the blood, sweat and tears you poured into your business. Work is in your blood and work provided you a sense of purpose and solace, especially in your final few months of life. My only wish, Dad, is I wish you enjoyed the fruits of your labour more. I wished you lived your life to the fullest and enjoyed every minute of it. You're a humble, down-to-earth man who enjoyed the simple things and never lived a life of luxury or, or indulgence, even though you could. You started with nothing and worked so hard for everything you have. So this has taught me to never give up, to always show commitment, resilience and perseverance. This five-year battle with this terrible disease has been a long, painful journey. You fought so hard to live and so desperately wanted a miracle from God. You always had hope and put all your trust in God. You believed that God would intervene at the 11th hour and cure you. God, however, had another path for you. A road to him where there was no more pain, no more suffering, no more pressure or responsibilities and no more hard work. It has been a long, difficult journey for you and I admire all your strength, courage, faith, even in your darkest hours. Dad, you are a wonderful geddel to your grandchildren and you will always have a special place in their hearts. The love and kindness you have shown to my Christian, Joshua and Luke is so heartwarming and I know they also gave you strength to endure this long battle with cancer. Your grandchildren all love you so deeply and will never forget you. Dad, thank you for being my role model, the foundation and rock of the, our family, my inspiration and my mentor. I thank you for everything you have taught me and all the love you have shown me. I will always be your koshkosh. I love you so very much and I'll continue to make you proud and you'll always be in my heart. Love you now and forever, Christine. St Paul's second epistle to Timothy says, You have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept faith. 
Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, our righteous judge, will give to me on that day. This is exactly what you have now achieved, Dad. Thanks be to God. Even though I miss you immensely already, I know you're in a better place with our Lord Jesus Christ. Rest in peace, my beautiful Dad. On behalf of my dear mother, Susan, my brothers, Peter and Thomas, we'd like to thank you all for being here today. And we are so humbled and blessed to be in the presence of his grace, Bishop Daniel and so many fathers. A special thank you to AMGAD and the church committee for all their help over the past week. Thank you all so much. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. St. Paul said in his epistle to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 12, Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer, I'm going to share with you today simple, humble three points about what is patience. George Fanus. So the title of my homily today, What is Patient? Ma huwa sabr? To understand patient, you need to understand the patient of Christ. Ashan tifam sabr eh? Lazim tifam sabr al Masih. Scholar Tortillian said, the divine economy for the living and church teaching illustrate God himself as a perfect example of patience in front of us. As a mesel li sabr huwa sayyid al-masih nafsu. In his epistle, second epistle to the Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 5, St. Paul said, Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and the patience of Christ. George <laughs> كان دائما زي ما سمعنا من أمجد بيتر توماس كريستين كان حط السيد المسيح قدامه وكان بيصبر صبر على ثلاث حاجات زي المسيح له المجد صبر على الألم بكل شكر وكل صلاة لما كنا نزوره كان عيان عمره ما اشتكى ولا قال يا رب ليه بتعمل كده ده انا خدمت كنيستك ما قالش كده صبر على خدمته زي ما امجد قال ونمره ثلاثه صبر على التحديات العظيمه اللي قابلها سواء في بيته أو في الكنيسة أول نقطة أرجوكم اتعلموا من صبر المرحوم جورج وحطوا المسيح قدامكم في صبره النقطة الثانية evil and good are related to patience مرات الواحد يتسأل الخير والشر إيه علاقتهم بالصبر 
لا في علاقة قوية الخير والشر مربوطين بالصبر طب ما هو الشر الشر هو عدم الصبر على عدم الخير على عمل الخير قال كده التورتليان الانسان اللي بيصنع الشر هو لا يصبر في عمل الخير very simple وهنا حديكم مثل من الكتاب المقدس قاين شوفوا الايه دي هقراها لكم قاين لم يصبر على توبيخ الرب لي قبل ما يموت اخوه ما صبرش وعمل الشر وقتل اخوه ارجوكم في حياتكم اصبروا في عمل الخير لكي تبعدوا من عمل الشر اللي بيعمل خير دايما يصبر فيه عمره ما هيعمل شر نيفر ايفر وده اللي عمله داود مع شاول الذي حاول ان يقتله اكثر من 13 مره بس شاول قال له في الاخر As your life was valued much this day in my eyes بيتكلم مع شاول So let my life be valued much in the eyes of the Lord and let him deliver me out of all tribulation اعملوا الخير زي ما عملوا عم جورج فانوس خير في اسرته شوفوا اولاده قالوا ايه عنه أحفاده قالوا إيه؟ اعملوا الخير لكنيستكم اعملوا الخير في المجتمع جورج كان محاسب شاطر بيعمل حسابات للناس كان أمين جدا زي ما سمعنا اعملوا الخير يا أحبائي هتلاقوا نفسكم أوتوماتيكالي ما بتعملوش الشر آخر نقطة patient and virtuous ايه علاقة الصبر بالفضيلة؟ أي فضيلة بقى مش الخير، لا أي فضيلة. Without patience you cannot gain any virtue. Patience is the foundation of every virtue. تعال ناخد مثل كده. الصلاة فضيلة الصلاة عم جورج وعز عز ما هو عيان ومريض كنت اشوفه يجي الكنيسة وسائل العربية وهو تعبان مصر انه يجي الكنيسة صابر انه يجي الكنيسة ويتناول وفي اخر ايامه ما قدرش يتحرك بس لازم كان ابونا مينا وابونا بولا وابونا بول يروحوا يناولوه ويفرح لو انت استمريت في فضيله الصلاه بدون صبر هتفقد الفضيله يو جوين تو لوز ات على طول وهكذا فضيله الصوم وفضيله الخدمه وفضيله التواضع شوفوا عم جورج كان متواضع ازاي راجل عملاق في الخدمه واحد وثلاثين سنة بيخدم ربنا في منتهى التواضع ليه؟ عشان في في الفاونديشن الصبر في التواضع عمره ما زعل حد ولا عمره هو زعل من حد بالعكس أنا مرات كنت يعني كنت بكون عشان كان زي ما أبونا مينا قال لنا كنت مرات البنك يزنقنا شوية ونقول لعم جورج عايزين الحسابات عشان نقدمها للإكسترنال أوديتور وبعد كده للبنك قول لي سيدنا ما تخافش أنا حسيب شغلي وحعمل شغل الكنيسة وفي الوقت المناسب حديمك الحسابات 
عندنا فاينانس كوميتي احب اشكرها امام الله كانوا بيراجعوا الحسابات في الاول قبل ما يدوها الاكسترنال اوديتور اخص بالشكر هنا كل الفاينانس كوميتي اللي تعبت ومنهم الاستاذ جون نخله والاستاذ سيمون سفين وبقيه الاعضاء الحسابات بتاع جورجي فانوس لا تراجع على طول بتروح للاكسترنال اوديتور ليه ما فيهاش غلطه واحده خالص والاكسترنال اوديتور نفسه ما يطلعش غلطه في حساباته النهارده يا احبائي بنشوف فضيلة الصبر في التواضع في الصلاة في الصوم في شخص الخادم العظيم السيد جورج فانوس بنشوف فضيلة الصبر في مراته المرأة العفيفة الطاهرة الفاضلة سوزان اللي خدمته بنشوف فضيلة الصبر في خدمته لأسرته بيتر وتوماس وكريستين وأحفاده وأخواته أرجوكم لما تمارسوا فضيلة اصبروا فيها اصبروا في صبركم اصبروا في صلاتكم اصبروا في صومكم اصبروا في خدمتكم اصبروا للآخر لغاية آخر لحظة آه، توماس بعت لي رسالة قال لي بابا مش بيتكلم ولا بيتحرك أبونا مينا قال لكم أنا كنت في خدمة برا فأبونا مينا من فضلك روحت هنا بالزيت وصليله التحليل عارفين نهاية الأبرار بتكون نهاية حلوة عشان كده الكنيسة مليانة أشكر أبائنا الكهنة ربنا يعوضكم كل خير على جيدكم الشمامسة والفول دي كنس ربنا يعوضكم كل خير أعضاء اللجنة والخدام والشعب اللي جاي من أطراف سيدني كلها ليه؟ عشان راجل نهايته كانت حلوة خدمته أمينة ربنا قادر ينيح نفس المرحوم جورج فانوس في أحضان القديسين ونتعلم منه الصبر في كل الفضائل لإلهنا كل مجد وكرامة من الآن الأبد أمين After after your uh, uh, return from the cemetery, we will uh, make the prayers of the third day, which should be done. Uh, it, we will do it today after you finish the cemetery and come back. من الليل والسبع تريك أيوك أي ابن ماتي كنين كاي كستوس أون أستون أون أنا من تنوش بولين قيموس جوبن شويس إيسوس بيخ رستوس في تواش كبس تفروس إخوم خيم بساتناس صاب سيت النينت شالغ صوت يمون ونينان اكيد شيت خريس مويسيس تمت قوي بنت ملشي سالك تمت خلو انت ياكوب بنو جناين تمتو صالة بكات يت صوت بنت دافين تي صوفيا انت صو لومون بيبنف ما ام باراكليتون فيتا فيجن ني اوستولوس شوي سافي اري بون خنم ابطاو ايرات فين بنيوت الطايوت نهار شيرفز بابا افاتا وادروس نم بنيوت نيبس كوموس افا دانيل افنوت انتيت في افتا جروؤو هجنو اثرونوس هن ميشن رومبي نمان سيو انهيرينيك انتيف تفيو انو غاجي 
tiro sabesit no chala en cole tome ve cristo seriegon kanen no vina ne volkin oirin tabevnis tenai kirie leison kirie leison kirie blogison amin smoeros Moero estime tania con ievo con biesmo. Jesús Benotti. Amin es eso. Peace, crying the King of Peace, crying peace, forgive us our sins. All pray together, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. And now the love of God, the Father, the grace of only God, the Son, Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, the and give the Holy Spirit be with you, depart in peace. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the family would be going straight to the grave side. Uh, we will be back for the third day prayer and then a mercy meal in the hall. So there'll be no condolences on the door. So there will be no condolences on the door. We are going straight to the cemetery, which is a Rookwood General Cemetery, and then coming back to church after the burial. Thank you. Amen.
Thank you. 